Welcome to the Love Government Cards. My name is Dennis Leary. I'm the uh, inventor of the cards and the founder of the Love Government. We are talking about one part of the Love Government system. A government is a system. It's an ordering pattern. It's the way we govern ourselves. It's the values we choose and the behaviors that we engage in. So the Love Government is all centered around love. And in personal terms, we are centered around the lover. That is our mantra, that is our focus, that is the center which holds everything together. And now we're talking about the cards, which is one part of the love government system. So it's called the love government cards. And we are now on card four. We already went through three cards, and now we're on four, number four of 52 cards. The cards look like this. They are called love cards because there's a relationship going on here between the two sides of the cards, between there's two, two uh, card decks involved. There's the larger card, and then there's the smaller card, this, this version here, and that is the tarot system. And this card spins this way and this way, all kinds of ways it spins. The tarot system, is a very ancient system that goes back to the love culture, at least 100,000 years ago. But now it's been more formalized, as is the cards. This whole system is a nature-based system. That's why we are in the garden today, with the lover shrine, which is colored red behind me, on this beautiful, sunshiny day in Southern California, blue sky. Uh, it's very beautiful here. This is only a taste of what we were meant to be as lovers living in paradise or the Garden of Eden. We still have that myth about the Garden of Eden, but there's a truth behind that. This beautiful, sustainable, wonderful, healthy system was overthrown almost entirely by patriarchy or the patrix as we call it, or the fall of man. Men rebelled, patriarchal men rebelled against the love system and so we got what we have today which is a system based on killing, on power, on money, on subduing other people, you know, climbing to the top of the pyramid. It's a very terrible system, and yet we are conditioned to think it's wonderful. We think it's a good life, and actually it's the very, very pits of life, but we're brainwashed, we're fooled. So the love government cards come to the rescue, so to speak. The love government cards open up a window to another world, open up a window to this world, behind me. And they're also a mirror. They show us ourselves in our uh, dual polarity. The cards have two sides. They have uh, on this card, this is number four. They have on this side is winds and this is walls. So there's a polarity play. So it's winds versus walls. When we're in the love government, the winds are blowing free. We're free. We're loving. We're confident. We're secure. And we're celebrating, like this card illustrates. There's a celebration going on. There's a celebration of love. On the other hand, in, within, the, within the Patrix Matrix complex, you get this. You get death. This card, which I'm pointing at here, you may not be able to see all that clearly, but it's a tarot card. It's the uh, Four of Swords, and there's a, a golden King Tut laying in golden armor with three swords above him and one below him, and a picture, a window of an angel, a colored uh, stained glass window angel. And that's the angel, you know, trying to, you know, knock some sense into this guy's head. He's because he's dead on the inside. There's a rotten bones and rotten flesh on the inside, mummied, I suppose, if he was Egyptian, King Tut. But on the outside, it's, it's this glittery gold. And that's the symbol of our culture. On the outside, we, have, we think we have the good life, we have the glitter, and we have the gold, and we have the money, and we have the power. It's power over other people. Other people are suffering because of it. But on the inside, as Jesus said, you're filled with this, the, the, your whitened sepulchers. On the inside, there's nothing but dead men's bones and stench. But you think it's so great because you're only looking at the outside. So with these cards. There's an inside and there's outside. There's a positive and a negative. And that's life too. In our life, we go through our life. We have a negative side and a positive side. You know, it's the shadow 
versus the light. Anyway, that's just the way reality is built. It's built on a dualistic system. So, this is the lover. Again, every card has the lover at the top because that's the core, that's the essence of the whole system is the re personal relationship to the lover. Not a relationship primarily, not a relationship to God or goddess or money or power or porn, sex or hedonism, communism, socialism, any of all those isms. It's a lover, personal relationship with the lover. Now she includes all of those and notice I said she because in the love culture system, this represented by what's behind me, this garden of paradise, in the, in the love government system, which preceded the fall of man, woman was the center. The lover actually was the center of it all. And woman, children, the earth, and men were the defenders and the protectors. That's the way the system's set up to work. It's sustainable for millions of years that way. But we're, we've been heavy into patriarchy now for about 5,000 years really heavy and for the last you know now it's really getting bad this system is not the sustainable it's, it's up topsy-turvy upside down it's a it's a, it's a male phallic pyramid with the point at the top versus the more natural pyramid that's rooted in the earth and we're all equal at the top so anyway uh, so here you have a choice you see these cards and you say I, I, I see these cards I have a choice I can program myself to go with this side, which is the winds, the four winds. I'm free as the four winds. I expand my consciousness. I'm, I'm expanding all the time. I'm growing. I'm learning. I'm loving. I'm making mistakes, and I have bad days. This is, you know, I have bad days, but uh, where I'm depressed or confused or angry or whatever, what it doesn't matter. But, but the more I progress in this love government system. The, 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 the easier it becomes. You know, I might have a bad day or two, but it passes, it always passes. And I get back into this side here, which is the celebration of love. Now, once again, as the other cards, this is symbolic sexual love language here. This is sign language. You got four, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but get yourself a, a, a tarot deck if you want, but you can see it clearly. But these are four wands and they have uh, leaves sprouting out of them. They're decorated. And there's a couple of women in the background celebrating, and there's children. So the women are uh, uh, are the go the natural governors are women, and the men are the defenders. So they're celebrating, they're actually celebrating sex, sex here and love. Uh, this is a phallic symbol. These wands are phallic symbols. Uh, there's ejaculation, and there's uh, uh, there's sex. Behind this all is the sexual love rights which patriarchy hates because it's not about power and money and they get cut out. They feel cut out. They shouldn't, but they do. And this and then end, ends up here. So these cards are really uh, windows uh, to another world. Uh, windows to um, the lover world, another world, yeah. And we have a choice. The cards give us a choice. They show us a way that we can uh, we can have a better life, much better life than we have now. Um, so this is really death, disguised as life, and patriarchy is very, very clever. It, it's a lying system. It lies, 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 and yet we are brainwashed, so brainwashed that we think it's the truth, and it's not. It's one big lie. This is the truth. The love government uh, is the truth. So thank you very much uh, for listening. I hope you have a really loving, wonderful day. And this is uh, only four. We got a lot to go. We got 52 more to go. So, bye. Thank you very much.